from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Wednesday, November the 10th, 2021. Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett met yesterday with two delegations from the U.S. Congress, a bipartisan group led by Senator Chris Coons and a Democrats group led by Representative Rosa DeLauro. The Democrats group trip was sponsored by J Street, the organization on the left that is often highly critical of Israeli policy. The group also met with Israel's foreign minister and alternate prime minister Yair Lapid, who said, I thanked them for supporting the replenishment of the Iron Dome missile defense system. And he said we discussed the importance of continuing to strengthen the U.S.-Israel relationship. DeLauro's delegation included Mark Pocan, Barbara Lee, Melania Stansbury, and Jamal Bowman, all of whom voted for the Iron Dome replenishment funding for Israel in the House vote back in September. Ynet reports that U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Linda Thomas-Greenfield will visit Israel for the first time next week. Thomas Greenfield, the report says, will be traveling with Israel's ambassador to the UN, Gilad Erdan, and will meet with President Isaac Herzog, as well as with Lapid and Defense Minister Benny Gantz. If you recall, Thomas Greenfield met with Prime Minister Bennett when he was at the UN this past September. Israel's ambassador to the United Kingdom, Sipi Hotoveli, had to be quickly escorted to her car under tight security after speaking at an event at the London School of Economics last night, who had invited her to take part in a debate forum. The event itself went by without incident, but outside, Hotoveli was met by a large group of pro-Palestinian protesters who booed her and yelled at her, reportedly acting in a threatening and aggressive manner, with one man rushing at the minister. There were also online violent threats directed at Hotoveli. British officials condemned the incident, including Home Secretary Priti Patel, who said she was disgusted by the treatment of the Israeli ambassador. Hatoveli later tweeted, I'm thankful for all the support I have received from the British government, many friends and partners. I had an excellent event at the London School of Economics, and I will not be intimidated. I will continue to share the Israeli story and hold open dialogue with all parts of British society. The government of Austria unveiled a Holocaust memorial last night in Vienna on the 83rd anniversary of Kristallnacht. The Shoah Wall of Names lists 64,440 Holocaust victims on monument walls, an initiative that has been lobbied for for years and is seen as a further sign that Austria is acknowledging the active role it played in the murder of its Jews, most of whom were from the capital city. Chancellor Alexander Schallenberg said at the ceremony last night, we looked away for too long until we realized our role as perpetrators of the crimes and the historical responsibility that comes with it. Morocco's national carrier will start regular direct flights to Israel. Royal Air Morocco made the announcement yesterday, almost a year after the kingdom renewed relations with Israel and normalized ties under the Abraham Accords. The flights between Casablanca and Tel Aviv will begin on December the 12th, starting with three flights a week and then moving up to five flights a week. The American Jewish Committee shared the news, calling it another welcome step for regional prosperity and peace. Flights to and from Morocco on Israeli carriers, El Al and Israel, began this past July. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Wednesday, November the 10th at 7 o'clock, it's Talmud study. At 7.30, Hadassah Lieberman reads from Hadassah, an American story, her candid memoir that offers insight into her identity as an immigrant, an American Jew, a working woman, wife, mother, and grandmother in a program of the Hampton Synagogue with Rabbi Avraham Bronstein. And then some special programming just ahead of Veterans Day at 8 o'clock. Jewish World War II veterans are honored. At 9, Mark Golub speaks with Zach Iskol, a decorated Marine who served two terms in Iraq. At 10.30 tonight, it's Kosher Movies, looking at the film American Sniper. And coming up next, it's Thinking Out Loud. And that's the JBS News Update for Wednesday, November the 10th, 2021. 
I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well.